So, folks, welcome to yet another episode of the Rumble. And today I have with me uh, somebody who wasn't born and brought up in Madras, which is a change uh, because we've seen we just talking to Madrasis, as we say. She's uh, studied in Delhi uh, in Lady Sri Ram College. For those of you who know that name from out here, <laughs> now it's all Stella Maris and whatever the local names. But she studied in Delhi and then Calcutta, did her stuff in uh, fine arts. Street theatre, which is very interesting for me to hear because I haven't met anybody who actually went on the street and did anything. So tell me, uh, oh by the way, her name, I should tell you that, Janaki Sabesh, she's not an actress, an actress also, and now uh, here working for uh, an electronic processing, I suppose, for film. Is that how you describe? Yeah, I work for a company called Real Image and uh, we are into the media and entertainment industry. So it's a kind of processing of cinema yeah, in today's we, media? Yeah, we, we are right now into digital cinema in a very big way. Okay. We have our own product called Cube. Which is the a Q U Q U B. That's right. Okay, that's right. It's spelled okay. with a Q. Right. And uh, we are responsible for showing films across the world uh, through our digital cinema server called the Cube. Okay. It's uh, our it own product. The, across the made globe. Made in Chennai. <laughs> and it goes across the globe. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, is it only used by Indian filmmakers? No, 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 no. It's uh, used in theaters uh, worldwide. Okay. And you mean uh, Hollywood, Bolly Bollywood, I mean everywhere, Bollywood, everywhere, of course, everywhere. even uh, American cinema uses Yes, yes, yes. The uh, theatres uh, use our projection, I mean, I mean the server. Okay. And um, So the source is coming from, from you and then it goes through their projection system. That's right. We also master the content and we play it uh, in the server. Okay. So, so that's, that's, that's the electronic age now. Let's go back right. to, uh, that was really interesting when you said you, you were on street theatre. How did that happen? Okay, I was in, um, after my uh, graduation in uh, political science, I went on to do my master's in mass communication in uh, Delhi okay. uh, from a university called Jamia Melia. And uh, there, one of the subjects, I mean, mass communication in those days was not uh, so well known as it is now, because yes. here now you have electronic media, you have visual communications, you yes, have yes. Uh, journalism, everything. I split down to so many small streams. Now. Absolutely. <laughs> And uh, uh, there was this amazing course. I mean, we had our, uh, you know, entrance exam and interview group discussion. How did discussion. you get into an entrance exam for something as vague as? Uh, mass oh, we had to write essays. Oh, that's you know, sort of thing. You don't have to do any. I live remember having written an essay on the Bhopal gas uh, tragedy. Okay. So that was uh, one of the essays, and then you had to review uh, two films. Uh, I right. reviewed, I think, Eli Patai. Oh in, yes, uh, Adur. Uh, yeah. Yes. So. Um, this course opened me into a brand new world of communication of all kinds, photography, a video, a radio. I mean, I was, I was in awe of radio. I mean, I was something, okay. I mean, left to me, I'll go back to uh, you radio. You ever worked in uh, radio? No, unfortunately, fascinated, no, by, fascinated by the entire uh, gambit of, you know, the opportunities that are there in uh, radio. And one of the subjects was uh, entertainment. And okay. in that, we had Faisal Alkasi teaching us about, you know, how you shouldn't be very controlled and you should leave your body loose and mm -hmm. how body language is such an important tool to play with, you know. It's something that you... And Delhi is uh, well known for his theatre. Absolutely. Though people tend to think Calcutta is the only place, but I think... No, Delhi no, no. I think Delhi has a lot of theatre. Uh, I, I won't say, I'll be politically right, correct. Calcutta folks, this is what she says. <laughs> no, Calcutta, Delhi, even Chennai now has so much theatre. Now, yes. Yes. So, this theatre, um, uh, entire course, I mean, uh, this paper in theatre, culminated with us performing in uh, front of Udyog Bhavan and our individuators were, you know, would part mark on, crowd? yeah, if they were part of the crowd and they ha they were marking us on okay. how I, uh, we attract uh, the audience because we need an audience to true, perform true. Mm. and, uh, you know, I had this dholak, right? Uh, so basically uh, you're, you're addressing all those uh, hundreds of thousands of guys who come begging for something in front of Udyog Bhavan. Absolutely. The <laughs> they're just hanging around anyway. And it was during lunch time where they're very happy eating oh, their yes. uh, Rajma Chawal yes. and I'm here Rajma trying saying, come, 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 please see our play and uh, that was real So what, fun. what were the subjects of those plays uh, when you were? Um, more on women empowerment. The Delhi riots were very uh, fresh in okay. everybody's minds Mind. and uh, you know, all those, um, uh, the whole thing about uh, girl child, you know, it was prevalent was it even. The awareness uh, existed even that far long back, I mean, this girl child thing? I thought it all yeah, came in focus now. No, but I think it's more in focus then, but it had already started there. 
यू नो लड़की है तो क्या हुआ आई मीन इफ इट्स गर्ल सो वॉट आई मीन द होल थिंग अबाउट वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट आई थिंक इट्स ऑलवेज बीन देयर द होल यू नो वॉट आई हैव अ डिफरेंट टेक ऑन इट आई हैव अ फीलिंग दैट वी रोल वी ऑल हैव द सेम अपॉर्चुनिटीज सम पिक इट अप इन सम डोंट Okay. you know for if i i'm somebody who's never said no to an opportunity so if i have an opportunity like coming and speaking to you today for instance that's an opportunity and True. why would i say no to it i'm going to be seeing so many people i mean i'm so many people are going to see yes, me yes. and i hope i get some views or feedback True. i mean that's something that i thrive on i love that kind of feedback you, you think know? that is nurtured that spirit is nurtured within the family that you know the girl should step up and say her thing or is there was put back I have my father to thank that for I men of course you know because you uh, I still remember my uh, I had an opportunity to model while I was in college somebody asked me and okay. my father was very clear anything after marriage All right, you know so your typical all, all the crime, yeah yeah all yeah the crimes yeah. you want to commit after marriage it's, 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 it's not a crime I mean, whatever equivalent of that go go do whatever yeah. you want so I I said oh okay but I, I didn't um I didn't feel very bad at that time but every other single thing i mean he used to say just go ahead do it dubbing um going for competitions i used to sing a lot so he said go sing um uh, you know it's an opportunity even if you lose no issue you would have gained an experience now would that would you say would you say your father and mother were average parent but they seem very liberal in the way you describe them yeah so. actually yeah they're more liberal than i am with my daughter i think And, and what about uh, other people around you? Are your uncles, aunts, as we say, all our neighbors? Yeah, yeah. I come from all... a family where everybody was, you know, we're a happy lot. We so thrive. When did when did we become a repressed uh, society? I... Everybody says the same thing. No, my grandfather allowed my grandmother to be this, and my father, my mother did this, and it's and all your here. father did that. So when did we turn repressive? No, it's all here. It's, so it's, you don't it's, think it's, it's uh... actually happening? No, uh, maybe it's happening in pockets. of uh, india it it is definitely happening more in the village if we hear horror stories i just have to turn on the news channel and there are horror stories every day yeah. but then it is it is how many of us actually uh, you know take that extra bit mm-hmm. and do what we want i mean i have a choice in front of me i either sit at home yeah. and you know not Mom, do any yeah. work and do the regular stuff or i go out and i explore the world I explore the world in terms of work, in terms of meeting people, in terms of gaining more knowledge. I mean, the more you speak to people, the more you—they're not going to be speaking about street theatre. They're going to be speaking about a topic that they like, true, true. and you're going to be more educated. I mean, you're going to be more aware. Let me yeah. not say educated. Okay, so we have interesting point of view from her saying that really nobody is oppressing anyone. If you really come to think about it, it is. again up to the individual uh, to know how far she or she can go and how far she ought to go and where she should draw a line herself so when we come back in the second part we just find out what are the areas where she thinks we yet need to explore for women